Hi guys, um, Chris here. Um, just wanted to chat to you about uh, probably the most important thing, not probably the most important thing in trading. Um, and that is capital preservation and money management. In other words, keeping hold of your money. Um, so probably in the order of importance, you've got money management, uh, capital preservation, um, that's probably the most important thing. Um, then the second most important thing, in my opinion, is the psychology of trading, um, your emotions and stuff that goes through your head. And then the third most important thing is actually, you know, strategies and indicators and tools and fundamentals and actually, you know, looking for your entries. Um, you know, if you've got poor money management and you've got a fantastic strategy, you're still not going to end up being a profitable trader. So. I just wanted to touch on a couple of things here. Um, so firstly, you want to um, decide on how much you're gonna risk per trade. Um, so we recommend, at least when you get started, to not risk more than 1% of your account per trade. Um, I guess, you know, obviously everybody has got a different risk um, tolerance, so, for some of you, you might like to risk 2% per trade. Others, possibly 3%. Um, I would say 3% would be the absolute maximum that I would recommend for anybody to go to. Um, when it goes above that, then uh, you're kind of going more into the gambling type territory, and that's not really what we want to achieve. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, 99% of the, the traders out there, they, they worry too much about their entries. They've got no real kind of money management, um, and, and they don't know how to manage their money properly. So the first thing that we want to do is, is you know, uh, decide on a risk. Um, so let's face it, our 1% risk. Um, so 1% of what? It's going to be obviously 1% of your account size. Um, and then you also need to look at how much you're, you're wanting to make from that trade. So that's the risk there. The 1% is the risk. Just take that in. Then you've obviously got your potential reward. So now the golden rule is, is never ever risk more than you're likely to, to make. So you wanna try and have the reward at least twice as much of the risk. So in this example, if the risk is set at 1%, then you'd look to gain a reward of at least 2%. Um, so what does that mean? It means that if you have a series of 10 trades, um, then you've got Maybe you win there, lose, 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 win, win, lose, lose, win, lose. Okay, so you can see here out of those 10 trades, I've won one, two, three, four, and I've lost one, two, three, four, five, six. I've actually lost more trades than I've won. Uh, but remember, for those, those ones that I've lost, I've lost. 1%. So then you can, if I do a quick auto sum, so I've lost 6%. And for the ones that I've won, made 2%. So out of those 10 trades, I've lost 6 and I've won 4. Uh, and you can see I've lost 6%, but I'm up 8%. So basically on aggregate, I've made a profit. If I do eight, take away six. Okay, there's my profit here. So I may have lost more trades than I won, but um, given the right money management and risk to reward ratio, you can see my profit is now up to 2%. Um, so it's not so much the amount of trades that you win, um, as to, you know, I would say to people, you know, the amount of trades out of 10 that you win is really irrelevant. It's, it's just, it's more your money management and your risk reward strategies that's gonna get you where you need to go. Um, so there's that example. You know, obviously once you start to get a little bit better at trading, then hopefully you're going to get some more right. So you might get one more trade right. And you can see on this example, I've lost five trades, I've down 5%. Um, but because I've got one more trade right, I've made 10%, so my overall profit 
on those 10 trades is, is now gone from 2% to 5% um, just by winning one more trade out of 10. Um, as you start to get better at your trading, then you're going to see and start to spot better um, trading potential rewards. So you might well find that you've got one or two of those trades where you actually, instead of winning 2%, maybe you win 2.5, uh, 2.5, you make one is three, and the rest of two. So again, now my profit's gone up to 7%. Um, but I'm still only winning five out of 10. Um, but I mean, if, if you're able to do that, then you're definitely a very good uh, profitable trader. Um, then another thing I wanted to share with you guys is um, just something I normally do this on the course for those of you that do the course with me. Um, but I wanted to show you account growth. And if we look at, um, ah, it's actually wrong. Okay, so if you start off with an account of, say for example, let's make this 4,000 rand, which is approximately a $300 account, but it's probably a bit more now. Um, uh, it's probably, yeah, obviously the, the rand at the moment is taking a bit of a dive, so it's not exact, but let's work on a 4,000 um, rand account to start. So a lot of you guys will start with a minimum size account. And, you know, we, we want you guys to basically work on a, on a 2% growth per week um, as a realistic achievable goal. Um, so that equals around about 10% per month. So if I just do the maths there. Yeah, so if you see on month one, um, now my account size has gone from 4,000 and after a month's trading it's now 4,400. So I've got a, made a profit of 400 rands. So you can see obviously, you know, the, the you know, I always explain, you're not going to retire on that amount. Um, so if, let's just bring it forward. One, two, three, four, and then five months. Yeah, so now you've got, in that five month period, you've grown your account to 6,442. So then you've made, you can see you've made a profit of 2,442 rands. Um, so for a lot of you guys, I know a lot of people, you know, they see all this advertising of forex trading and trading and people driving Lamborghinis and they have this kind of unrealistic expectation and they think they're going to come and start on a minimum size account and by the end of the month be driving their first Lamborghini. So uh, yeah, so, so it's, it's obviously an unrealistic expectation. So people tend to over expect um, or have an unrealistic expectation of what they can achieve in a smaller amount of time. But I just wanted to show you guys, if you consistently achieve this on a monthly basis and over the period of five years, then that's what your account would look like. Okay, so that's 1.217 million rand. Okay, so that's just from obviously compounding, um, not withdrawing um, any of the funds. I'm not suggesting that you will do this necessarily, but I'm just, the, the illustration that I wanted to show you is that people drastically overestimate what they can achieve in a small amount of time. Um, so they think they're going to achieve their first million in the first year. Um, but, and then what happens is that when they don't achieve this and they're thinking, well, if it's hardly worth me even trading, then they quit. But what they don't understand is if they'd have just kept going over the period of five years, then your account is going to look very, very different if you're able to achieve this. So the reason I like to show people is, is just to keep you guys on track. You know, if your trading is going a little bit tough or you, you're finding yourself, um, you know, thinking it's slow going, um, you know, just do the projections and just see in five years time where you could be. Um, and hopefully that will help one or two of you just keep on track um, and, and just, as I say, uh, to become successful. Um, so give me a shout if you need any help with anything. Um, you know where I am. Um, you guys, I think most of you got my email. If not, you can just phone in or um, send us a, a message or come on the chat room and then we're here to help. Thanks, guys.